This is Cassian with Gatsby, and today we're going to explore the Slice API in Gatsby in three minutes. We'll convert this starter application to use the Slice API to speed up builds. If you'd like to know more about the Slice API and how it can benefit you, there are links in the video description. First, let's clear up some vocabulary. The Slice API is what allows us to use slices. Slice components are the React components that we use to build our Slice. Slice placeholders are React components that tell Gatsby where to stitch the Slice components into our pages. Let's start with this basic Gatsby application I installed using the Gatsby CLI. It has a header component that we can turn into a slice. When you think about what components to use with the Slice API, think about components that are a part of many pages, as the Slice API works best lowering build times when the component needs to be built again by preventing Gatsby from needing to rebuild every page that component is on. First, we'll create our slice in Gatsby Node.js. We'll need to call actions.createSlice with an ID and a component. We'll create an ID of header and send in our header component. This tells Gatsby with, that whenever the header is built, we don't have to rebuild every page the header component is on. We only need to build the header component and stitch it in. Next, we need to add the slice placeholder to our layout.js file. We'll import the slice placeholder and instantiate it where we knew, want our new slice component to render. The slice API will stitch the built header component into every page it is a part of when building. And with that, we have a working slice. You can see in the Gatsby build that the slice is built separately than stitched in. As you may have noticed, we didn't have to edit the header.js file at all. Nearly all components can be used as a slice component with little to no modification. You can also add GraphQL queries to slice components and pass context to the slice from the creation point at Gatsby Node.js. Here, we're adding a query to show the latest build time and passing a text variable through the context. And there's your intro to the Slice API. If you'd like to know more, there are links to the docs and other info in the video description. Thanks for watching.